Ace Money the name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a BE with handicappers. So it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. What's up, guys? Ace Money, Sportsbook Robbery. This is for our Wednesday slate. It's five games. Uh, start real early. They start at 11 a.m. It's real late, uh, Tuesday night, Tuesday morning. So uh, I'm going to go kind of quick to get through these. <clears throat> I just wanted to get this out before, you know, obviously the games. But let's go. I got Laney Hamilton points over 12 and a half. Minus 110 on FanDuel. Uh, hit rate for the year, 53%. Head to head, 56%, but that's not for the year. Uh, last five games, 60 If I break it down, well, first I'll do head to head. She did not, she only played it once this year. She didn't go over it. For some reason, she only put up eight shots. She made four of them. Uh, plenty of minutes she played. I don't understand why that would happen. She didn't hit any threes. I really don't know what happened that day, but, uh, if I break it down to three days rest, that's what they're on now. It's gone over this plenty of times, four, four out of five on three days rest. Uh, it's a good shot, you know. I'm not, I'm not worried about her going over it. We played it plenty of times before. Last game versus Indiana, she just played. She had 20 points. She hurt herself this game, but uh, she, you know, she just hurt herself for the game. She's all right. Cleared her two games before that. I'm not worried about her going over this. 12 and a half points. It's an important game. Uh, shot selection. Shooting 27% under the basket, 23 in the paint, 8% middies, 35 behind the arc, and then a little 7%. Uh, baseline in the corner. And now, they do defend well behind the arc, but other than that, it's middle of the range. Uh, the threes do lighten up on the sides, on the baseline, so she should be all right. She can shoot from anywhere. She's a beast. She can create her own shot. I'm not worried about it. Laney Smith, Hamilton, points, 12 and a half, no problem. Consider it done. I'm going Carrington, rebounds over four and a half, minus 125 on uh, FanDuel. Um, I didn't drop the lines in the beginning. There's too many games, and I noticed people fast forward it anyway. But uh, spreads like plus three, Connecticut's the dog. Uh, so it's going to be a close game. It's an important game, so, you know, they're going to be playing their hearts out. Uh, she's gone over this three out of the last five, fifty-two percent for the year. Uh, outlier finally updated. Um, you used to be able to do this for NBA. I could separate it for the positions on how they guard them. Uh, rebounds allowed. They're ranked twelfth to the guard position. Overall, they're like they're ranked third, but to the guards, they're ranked twelfth. That's last place. So she's a good rebounder as it is, so should be able to go over this. Stuck out to me, uh, the odds being what they are, they're leaning towards she's going to go to the over anyway. I'm rocking with it. Carrington rebounds four and a half. All right, this is for the second game, Atlantic at Chicago. Uh, it's a 12 o'clock game. Uh, Reese, stay with it. Rebounds over 12 and a half. Uh, minus 135. DraftKings. Juice to where 
Just gonna go over it, leaning towards the over. She's been killing it. Uh, head to head, she cleared it. Both times they played, 19, the last time they played. Uh, what else? We already know she's a beast. Uh, to the forward position, the rebounds allowed, they're ranked 12th, last place. Overall on rebounds, they're ranked 6th. Uh, head to head, 100%, last five games, 60. Last 10 games, 70%. She's gone over this. There's plenty of minutes. Uh, I stayed off Cordoza. I was playing her. But they, they sat at a whole fourth quarter last time. She had, she had a seven or eight almost in the first quarter. Had eight by the second. And uh, the number was eight and a half. And they sat her, I think, because the speed or, or something. I don't know. But laying off her. I mean, it's a favorable play if you can find it for first half. Uh, Cardoza, I'll definitely do it rebounds, but uh, sticking with this one. Reese, rebounds, 12 and a half. All right, next up, going back to a Kennedy Carter, points 19 and a half over, minus 115 on DraftKings. Uh, Definitely line shot right now, minus 145 on FanDuel. So, I know it's real late. You probably won't see this in the morning. Probably will change by then. Sorry. Um, last 10 games, 50% hit rate, but last five. Last five, let's clear this four out of the last five. Uh, spread is plus six for the dream. Uh, Chicago's the favorite, minus six. So the game should be okay. Shouldn't be uh, crazy, like a blowout or anything. Hopefully it'll stay close. But, uh, shoots the ball real well, 49% from the field, averaging about 20 attempts. So... She's going to get there. She puts up plenty of shots. Uh, she don't really shoot threes at all. And uh, shooting 78% from the foul line. So as long as she continues to do what she does, she'll clear this. Uh, head to head. Let's see what we got. Played uh, eight days ago. She had 26 points. And then two months ago... She had four, but she only played 15 minutes. She's, so she should be all right. No problem. Put up them shots, getting that paint. Uh, show a shot selection. Come on. Uh, average point differential, 17% for players that play like her in her position versus uh, the dream. So that's good. Shot selection, 51 in, underneath the basket, 27 in the paint. We got 20 middies, and uh, she don't really shoot threes at all. So they're ranked 10th in the paint. That's where she's putting most of her points up. She's crossing over. She's driving. So all up in here, looks like a dream where a dream, Sky's going to have a dream. Carter's going to have a dream. Let's get it, Kennedy Carter. All right, this is 12 o'clock game, Washington at Indiana. Uh, plus six, Washington, the underdog. Uh... Rebounds, Elijah Smith over eight and a half, uh, even money. Uh, DraftKings got it like minus one hundred eight on uh, Fanduel. Played twice this year. First game she had ten. Second game she had seven. But uh, break it down to the last five games. Gone over this four to the last five. 
11 versus Liberty, and they could rebound. 14 versus Vegas, and they could rebound. 15 versus Phoenix, and they could rebound. So uh, it's all looking good. Uh, she don't play that many minutes, 30 minutes, 32 minutes. She's grabbing offensive and defensive rebounds. Uh, she exceeded eight and a half and five of the last six, averaging 11. Really like this play. Look out. Uh, the other thing is both teams, uh, Mystics are ninth in field goal percentage. And uh, the Fever is sixth, 43%. So, uh, yeah, they both don't shoot the ball well. And if I break it down to how they rebound against the forward, their rebounds ninth allowed. It's almost only 12 teams, so against the forward, they're one of the worst teams anyway. I mean, overall, they're seventh. So all signs point to go. Melissa Smith over rebounds eight and a half. All right, uh, if you could like the video, new viewers, please subscribe. Uh, turn the notifications on so you get my videos, my plays, my live bets. Uh, if you could leave a comment, likes and comments, help get the videos out there. As well as some feedback, let me know. Like, for instance, if you don't want me to do the lines in the beginning, you just fast forward it, just tell me. Don't do the lines in the beginning. Uh, yeah, hit the like button. Or don't hit the like button. Because you don't. So I ask you for one thing. But that's besides the point. Let's keep it moving. Alyssa Boston points over 14 and a half. Uh, minus 110. DraftKings. Always line shop. Line shop is looking at different books. Because different books have different odds. So you want to get the best odds. Four out of the last five. She's gone over this. That's a 80% hit rate. Uh, last 10 games, 70% hit rate. She's been scoring better lately these last two weeks. Uh, she's exceeded 15 and a half in four of her last five games at home, averaging 19. She's shooting 53% from the field, 40% uh, from three-point, 60% from the foul line. A big reason why I like this play, too, is because if I break it down, Washington's seventh in points allowed. If I bring it down to her position, uh, they're like six. It must have been a different play. I was thinking I was still it stayed the same. But, uh, yeah, I was thinking of a different play. Uh Good hit rate. She's been scoring. She's really been doing well. Uh, Fever's definitely turned it up. They got some practice in. And this young team's really starting to gel. It leads into my next play. Get right into that. Leah Borson points 14 and a half. Like, comment. All right, next up, I'm going on uh, Caitlin Clark, rebounds and assists. Over 15 and a half. Uh, she's been killing it. Uh, plus 102 on Fandle. Jeff Kings just doesn't offer combos for WNBA lagging. Uh, she's gone over this four to the last five. She hit a triple double last game. Game before that, 11 assists, six rebounds. Game before that, 12 assists, nine rebounds. She was just on the edge of getting it. Uh, seven assists the game before that. Before that, 13 assists, six rebounds. She's almost going over this in assists. I already know she plays plenty of minutes. It's Caitlin Clark, you know. Uh, rebounds, Washington's ranked seventh. Assists are ranked fourth. To the guard position, it gets a little better. Rebounds are ranked eighth. Assists third. Either way... Like I was saying with the Boston, Clark is going to be feeding Boston. I mean, and feeding everybody for that matter. And uh, she's going to get 10, 11 assists. Uh, 
and the team legs and rebounds anyway. So she's a good rebounder. She finds the ball. So she'll go over this. Uh, I was thinking about playing her threes. I like to play them when she's off a couple of days rest, and they are. But, uh, two and a half. They still got a juice uh, to play. You can play if you're looking for it. Uh, they're playing at home. She's got a couple of days rest. She should go over two and a half threes. But uh, I played points, uh, rebounds, and assists. Excuse me. Caitlin Clark, let's This is uh, for the last game. Dallas at Phoenix. It's a 3.30 game. Uh, wings are plus 7.5 on the dogs. Uh, hopefully it'll be not a blowout. I don't think it will be. But uh, I got Odyssey Sims. It's a gem we found. I found it a couple of days. It's a week ago or so. I played her even before she got in the starting lineup, but uh, points 13 and a half, minus 114. Right now, they only have it on FanDuel. Uh, they jacked up the points. They moved her points line. I feel like I played that something different, but uh, they had it like 10 and a half. So these were all green. She was clear to clear to. She had 14, and then she had 25 last game. Uh, against the guard, they're ranked third, but points are out. They're like ninth. So, uh, but she's an all-around baller. If you do fantasy points, she's definitely a fantasy points person. She gets assists. Uh, you could do points and assists if you wanted, or just assists alone. She does it all. Points and assists. Uh, she had five assists last game. Game before that, seven. Game before that, six. Game before that, four. But she does it all. Passes. She scores. She can shoot the three. She's mid range. She does layups. Uh, she's a beast. Uh, I play just the points because sometimes with assists, you never know how the other how the other players are going to shoot. You know, like, for instance, today we played McDonald and uh, Jackson points. Not, not nothing to do with assists, but my point being is they're both shit to bed. So if I played assists for someone else, it would have been a tough, tough go around. But uh, 13 and a half points, the number's still not high enough for her. Even though they pumped it up, I'm still playing it. Uh, shoots the ball pretty well, 50%. 31% from threes and 70% from uh, the foul line. So I'm going to keep rocking with it until she falls off or the number gets too high. Let's go. Before I get into the next one, I just wanted to show you the shot uh, shot selection for Odyssey Sims. I forgot. 28% uh, underneath the basket, 36 in the paint, 13 mid and 23 behind the arc. Uh, defense is ranked fourth in the paint, ninth. Fourth under the basket, ninth in the paint, second in the mid-range, twelfth behind the arc. Uh, seventh and fifth on the baselines. So they let up a lot of points. So either way, I'm liking it. Uh, my next play is going to be Kalia Cooper. Show you her shot chart while I'm over here. Uh, it's points, uh, 22 and a half. They got it on. I played it. I'll show you in a second. But uh, 37% under the basket, 16 in the paint, 10 middies, 33% behind the arc. She's shooting from everywhere. She's shooting good. Plenty of shots. Uh, they're pretty much bad all around. They're just letting you do what you want. Uh, players that played like her, point differential, 22%. Uh, she played them on the 25th of May. She had 32 points. But uh, let me get into this. Kalia Cooper, 22 and a half points. DraftKings. FanDuel got it at 23 and a half right now. When... Uh, when you look for your plays, if you do a, if you have outlier and you send them to there, make sure you always double check and look into them because the 
the lines will change, the numbers will change. Even on FanDuel for the next play, I'll, I'll, I'll get into that next, but something else changed. But uh, Cooper, 22 and a half points. Dallas is 12th allowed, their last place in points allowed. She just cleared this three out of five days, uh, five games. She's putting up plenty of shots. That's what I've been looking for, too. People who actually shoot the ball. She's averaging seven, a little over 17 attempts. She's hitting almost 50%. Uh, she don't really shoot the three that much, but she's about 25% and 85 from the foul line. Head-to-head, -head, 83%. She's gone over this. So, uh, we played three times this year. She easily cleared it, 32, 29, and 34. So, it looks like easy money. Let's get it. Rike O, as I call it. Ogle went up by Wiley. Yeah, sure. Rebounds over five and a half. What I was saying before, uh, they got it at plus 100 on FanDuel. You can actually see it says minus 102. If you go to where it says her name and rebounds, it says uh, over five and a half, minus 102. But if you look for a six plus, it's plus 100. Well, it's just my point. You, could, you know, there's always discrepancies in the books. That's why you got to line shop and look around. But uh, rebounds over five and a half. Phoenix is 11th of rebounds allowed. To the guard position is still 11th. The rebounds allowed. It's a good rebound. In the last three games, she's really been turning it up to uh, seven, seven, and six. For Kester and two of those, uh, I'm a rock with it. Just because rebounds allowed, like I said, they're uh, rank 11th. Uh, they both don't shoot the ball that well. Phoenix shoots at 43%. They're rank eighth in field goal percentage. And then uh, the Mystics are ranked fourth. So, I mean, they shoot a little better, but the Mystics, uh, Dallas Wings, I mean, sorry, are uh, ranked fourth. But she's grabbing defensive rebounds anyway, so it doesn't really matter how they shoot. Uh, video's kind of long, a lot of plays. Uh, she has exceeded five rebounds in four of the last five games on the road, averaging over a little over six. So uh, it's looking good, looking good. Yeah, there's 10 plays, uh, videos long. Sorry, I try to rush through it. Uh, I try to give you as much info as I could with not taking up too much time. I uh, hope you appreciate it. Uh, if you could, like I said, like the video. New viewers, please subscribe and uh, let's get that money. East Money to Name, getting paid for the game. Let's go. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.